Hello and welcome to the Clashing of Steel. So today I am playing defensive with Budica and her war dogs. We were left on the forest side of the Salernum. As you see we have one DC player with barbarians and AFK archers who don't even DC and just stand there till the end of the game. So my first vision was to go offense. We have the slingers, we have the barbarians. But uh, I was afraid there might be overwhelming numbers and we couldn't defend the slingers. And uh, seeing as the archers are AFK, my focus was to defend them hoping that they would return. Setting myself up around them, waiting for them to return, I was hoping for a defensive tactic. Like setting myself up near the ledge and hoping for the slingers and archers to focus there while we try to hold off the opponents. Also, the swordsman left us and I am defending practically this location. I'm controlling the CPU and I'm controlling my units. So I let the war dogs loose just to see if they will use their charge or if my dogs can get to them. If they would have wasted their charge on a single unit of war dogs, it would have been well worth it. But since they're not, I'm going to set my defenses up here. So the first focus was to set my defensive location here around the archers. But I realized that we might get the surprise from the side. So I need to do a bit of repositioning. Although the slingers can keep these cavalrys away from this location, I still have to worry about the AFK archers who I was hoping to get back here, and the sides of the slingers who are just moving around. I gladly have a lot of vision into the forest, so I really don't want to go that deep into it. Although I do get buffs in there, I want to give myself enough room to let my dogs loose for my units to stay alive a bit longer if the cavalry should charge. There are actually a lot of cavalrys moving, so they do have the watchtower, so we must be careful. I exactly don't want to leave the archers undefended, so I'm going to have to send one CPU unit to defend them, or more precisely defend that location. Because if the opponent should come that way, we would be the next target. Archers would go down in a matter of seconds and we would be focused and we would get flanked. Probably at this point, the opponents realize that uh, there is no one defending the higher hill. That we are defending near our base. Their cavalry scouted and pretty much showed them where we are. So we can soon expect them to rush towards us, or at least towards our base. But I ain't gonna let the cavalry cap so easily. They're moving towards our base and soon I will let loose the dogs. Even if the dogs take damage, they will still do a moderate amount of decapping. I would have loved if the slingers could have decapped them, but I'm afraid there might be the building in front of them. So I'm letting loose the dogs and... Well, okay, the slingers can't decap, and the opponents are rushing away. We can defend excellently against the cavalry. They can't engage us in our position, they will most likely lose, and our range units with my war dogs can do a decent amount of decapping. For this point, I think cavalry's had enough, and they're going for the slingers. Yes, it seems they're going for it, so I let loose my dogs, and my dogs get a drop on the cavalry. So the cavalry was too late to charge into the war dogs. That way, charging after the war dogs doing the minimal amount of damage. Although I let loose my dogs to finish it off, I'm still going to use my units to cover the side. Just in case the cavalry should think of something or any other unit should come. As we're seeing them, they're coming in close, but they're not yet here. So that gives us actually a bit of time to finish off the cavalry and reposition ourselves. I ain't that worried about the spearmen because they're tier lower, but still quite capable. Plus, I have the war dogs, so phalanx won't pay out for them. Although cavalrys are moving towards our slingers, I used my dogs and one of my units to block them off. Or, I'm trying to block them off the best I can. Now starts the waiting game. We just need to wait for our team to capture, and then we are pretty much done. If you're defending, the idea is to build yourself up so that you don't give too many openings for the opponents to harass you. We had the CPU and AFK archers. The opponents were probably very careful back at the watchtower. They didn't want to engage because they didn't see anyone. But then again the cavalry scouted for them and they took a while to get here. They should have probably turned towards the city because we were built into a defensive position and made any type of capping hard for the opponents. So this was pretty much it about the defense with Budica. Controlling CPUs and so. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.